Hey, baby. Happy Thursday, guys. Sunshine got it three, two, three here, baby. Yes. Thank you guys for being here, like, subscribing, and shit. Oh my god, I love you guys. What would I do without you? And if you guys are new here, thank you for being here. If you've been here, thank you for rolling with me for stopping by. Just stay for a little bit. I'm saying we always have fun with me. It's always a good time, okay? Judgment free zone, judgment free zone. No judgment ever, okay? So, um, you guys also, if you get a chance, hit the notification button so you're notified when I post my video. All right, guys, so we are making it to the end of the week. It's Thursday, baby, baby. Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday for you guys. Let me see a throwback really quick. A year ago today, what were you guys doing? A year ago today, I literally started my spiritual awakening. Like, literally. And it's so funny because yesterday I was asked, like, what made you do tarot and stuff like that? So, literally, guys, a year ago from today, I was, like, literally in the midst of my spiritual awakening. I'm going through a lot of stuff. And I'm so happy to come out to where I am now. So much growth in, like, uh, almost a year. So, that's an amazing thing. Throwback Thursday. Comment. I want to know about your growth, guys. 101 on the clock. And that's for new beginnings. Comment down below how much you've grown in a year. So from this time now, from, from last time to this time now, what's changed? Okay, growth. Change. What's changed in your life? Okay. So guys, look, I was looking for these cards for so long. I literally have like three shoe boxes. Ooh, they're falling out of my hand. I literally have like three shoe boxes full of tarot cards. So I was intuitively guided to use these. I haven't used these in so long. Like, I haven't used them in so long. So I'm going to use each for a read today. And I'm um, looking at nine of flowers right on top with the queen. I knew it. Sunshine got three, two, three. Divine feminine masculine energy, energy. If it resonates, it resonates. Also, guys, 141 on the clock. So I was thinking yesterday. And I was thinking that, like, I feel like when you when we say twin flame soulmate relationships, now hear me out real quick. I feel like that puts a lot of emphasis and pressure on someone to be in a relationship or stay in a relationship that they... Um, aren't shouldn't be in so guys listen just be okay listen okay how do I put this in words and I try I want to say this so it doesn't sound just because you think someone's your oh my god drilling again excuse me I'm trying to be serious and I'm drilling just because you think someone's your twin flame soulmate doesn't mean you have to stay in a situation that's not suitable for you okay okay because I feel like I'm feel, I don't want to be advocating for someone to stay with someone that's in a really bad relationship just because they think it's their twin flame soulmate, okay? So I just want to say that, um, put that out there because I don't advocate for domestic violence. I don't advocate for narcissistic people. I don't advocate for manipulating. I don't advocate for, for wasting love and wasting time because, oh my God, the worst thing you could do is awaken the love of someone when you're not ready for them. Such a guy at three, three, three. I just had to say it because I really thought about that all day. I said, oh my God, I hope I'm not like convincing someone to stay, wait, and, and they're in a bad situation. So I want to clear my name and clear the air on that 255 in the club because lots of change for the collective. Listen, there are literally lots of changes, endings, beginnings, cycles, closing fast, okay? um, Around me and my life and around other people, there's lots of things changing. So guys, be open to receiving your blessings. Be open to the changes, okay? All changes aren't bad changes, okay? And BTW, I found this necklace on my bed where it was. I looked five, six times the same place. It just happened to be there. So I got through, through, through. I love guys. Let's get on with our read today. So I'm picking up the energy, divine, feminine, masculine, masculine. Energy is energy. If it resonates, it resonates. Somebody's striving for excellence in their life. But before we do that, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to pick some astro astrological signs, guys. Taurus energy, okay. Who did I? I met a, I met a Taurus yesterday because I remember, I feel like they remember Tommy Taurus. Cancer, Cancer season, new moon energy coming soon, and Capricorn, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, all right. So striving for excellence. I take pride in what I do. I'll go the extra distance to reach my highest potential. I strive for excellence. Yes, with mental clarity, trying to slide out. Okay, look at let's see. Mental clarity, trying to slide out. Oh my God, three fell. I feel like there's divine masculine energy. Detoxification. So somebody's detoxing their, from their life. Okay, as I detoxify and release things of lower frequency, I raise my vibration so only positive energy surrounds me. Yes. So you guys know what? The higher you vibrate, the more radiant and the more you glow. Perfect example. Okay, my friend's like, Dad, cat, you're glowing. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm in high vibration, baby. You gotta stay in high vibration at all times. Okay, so look at Three cards came out, so I'm going to take these. I'm picking up divine masculine energy. Okay, so excellence, mental clarity, spirituality, communication. Oh, they're coming back for communication. Look at this. Blue, blue throat chakra, communication. I love this card, okay? And nutrition. 
for their soul with detox on top of the thing. So I feel like somebody's really looking at, listen, changes. Somebody's like, listen, I'm going to change my life. This is not the way I want to live. I feel like this person's like, listen, and also spirits guiding them to change their life as well. Okay. Spirit's really doing a lot of a lot of things lately, okay? Excellence, mental clarity, spiritual communication, expansion, change your life. This person is changing your life. Birthing new ideas. See this pregnant lady in here? Birthing new ideas, okay? I'm not picking up any pregnancy energy, okay? But birthing new ideas, not only birthing new ideas, being led by spirit. Did you guys know when is a significant sign of change, okay? Yesterday when I was sitting down, I went out to eat with a couple of my friends. We, I seen lightning lightning and all of a sudden a great shift of wind wind means change okay so if you guys are sitting there talking a or you're trying to prove a point or something and wind comes and blows that's change okay that's spirit trying to tell you i'm here to change change direction in your life so mental clarity passion this person oh my god i love these i love how these guards came out 5 55 o'clock listen change change gonna come oh yes it is the only person that can change your life is you you are the only person that can change the things in your life you are the only person that has control of your life no one else can control your life no one else can control you i mean unless you're in prison or like um what's that shit called once on your bracelet like home arrest or a house arrest or whatever you are responsible 100 percent for your life you are responsible 100 percent for your life okay passion this person decided they they like got clarification like they must have said had to talk with someone an older person i'm picking up energy someone talks to an older person like listen i want to change my life i don't want to be like this i don't want to do these things okay detoxing okay detoxing from things that don't serve them okay and i feel like maybe some drugs alcohol you know what i'm trying to say they just look at me like no i don't want to do this i want to be different spiritually discovering so this person also discovered the fact that listen they are spiritual. I feel like this person came to their self as a being. Like, listen, I am a king slash queen. I am this person. They look at their self in the mirror and they say, listen, I'm changing. I don't want to be the old person. When I feel like this person wants to release things that no longer serve me. And partially on communication. Also understanding that, listen, I, I do kind of have some communication problems. I do, like, want to be able to talk and speak my truth. 7-Eleven. They want to be able to come out and communicate and be open about the things that they have to say. Okay? And nutrition, I got balance. Okay? And bittersweet and recovery for detox. So I, I really feel like somebody's really detoxing from drugs and alcohol right now. They're really trying to get their self together. Like, seriously. Okay, look at top of the deck, faith. So they're having a lot of faith that they will come out of this detox situation, that they will be able to stay sober, okay? And I'm proud of this person because this looks like, it seems like they have a lot of energy that they're really fighting for themselves, really fighting for their lives. We said they're really fighting for their lives to change their lives to be better people, okay? All right, let's see what we got. What's some, we're going to put some traditional turn on it. You know, I'm just proud of this person. If this story resonates with you and you're really trying to change your life, good for you. Okay, it's not easy making changes. Life is harder will leave you physically, mentally, and emotionally scarred. I know that. Trust me. I know that, guys. Trust me. Trust me. Okay, look at three swords, heartbreak, energy. So I, I was picking up eight thirteen on the clock. This person is really like in love with their. So I feel like I'm picking up a lot of love energy as well. But this person, heartbreak, energy, separation moved on okay recovery they're recovering from heartbreak okay so i feel like this person was doing a lot of drinking and stuff and drugging or whatever their vice was so we said more drinking because they were heartbroken and they were trying to get out of it okay divine masculine energy okay with the knave of pentacles bittersweet leaving a situation this divine masculine knew or divine feminine energy is energy but i'm really picking up divine masculine this divine masculine knew that he so i feel like this divine masculine caught someone out doing something but also did a lot of studying on himself, taking care of himself, saying, listen, I have to end this, these connections. I have to end these things with people. Okay, I know they're going to break my heart, but I'm I'm recovering from things. Okay, look at the heart with the key. I'm recovering things. I need to do what's good for me. Okay, and what I love about this, look at this key here, guys. Look at this key. Look at this key here. Can you guys see this? the same key? On the table right there. I feel like this is my masculine feminine energy. The energy of a resonance raised and moved out of a, a relationship. Moved out of a house with someone. Okay. Nave of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. I told you. Queen of Pentacles. Divine Masculine had a, had a talk with this woman. This woman really loved Divine Masculine. But I'm picking up karmic energy. I'm picking up. Uh, it says bittersweet because I feel like, yeah, Divine Masculine... Yeah, okay, I'm picking up bittersweet. So I must have had a talk with this lady, this lady, this woman, this person, whoever he was dating with, okay? Excellent expansion saying, listen, 
I this isn't working for me. Nine forty four o'clock ending karmic cycles. So this they don't know that in the story like they didn't know it's karmic cycles. And in karmic cycles, listen, I can't really do this. I don't like this. I feel like this person that this divine masculine feminine energy was dating at the time they weren't good for them. They they weren't good for the spirit. Keeps saying they weren't good for them. Um, they were involved in a lot of heavy drinking, drugs, alcohol, lots of partying. You know what I'm trying to say. And divine masculine was looking around at his life, saying that I don't want to live like this. Look at and I feel like somebody came into divine masculine. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying because this is definitely twin flame soulmate energy. Because the cards told me to told me. Look at renewal prayer, okay? This person, oh my god, with abundance. They oh my god, with destiny. Listen. Oh my goodness, I can't stop. The deck closed destiny. This person met someone that balanced them out. Yin yang energy, okay? They were destined, intuitively guided, spiritual guided by them because it was their soulmate, okay? So they left this relationship because they knew they had a twin flame soulmate relationship. Now, passion, mental clarity. The only reason why they for sure left this relationship is because they were for sure with the three of pentacles and the temperance card. Knew 100% sure that they were in a twin flame soulmate relationship. 100% sure. I can't deny it. Three of Pentacles, Twin Flame, Soulmate Relationship, and the Temperance card. This person, Mental Clarity, when they got with this new person, okay, once they left the relationship, the heartbreak over, okay, what spirit is telling me that they didn't wait a little, they didn't wait in between, okay? So what they did was they bought the baggage from the old relationship over to the new one. The new relationship was actually their Twin Flame, Soulmate Relationship, okay? And they discovered that Mental Clarity, okay? So once they knew that, that's when their whole situation changed with discovering spirituality it was different for them they said oh hell no this is a spiritual connection i want to do right by this person i have to do right by this person they're the world wanting a new beginning listen 11 36 7 o'clock this person wants a new beginning with you you're all they think about you're all that's all ever on their mind okay and the fact that you help them discover their spiritual side and you help them blossom into the person that they always wanted to become, okay? But I feel like I, I feel like there's a little bit of secrets that this person has and came out and told you that they need to tell you. But overall energy is you are the light of this person's life. You make them so happy, okay? With the seven of wands and the star card. You know, this person, I feel like they're regretful for being offensive, defensive when it comes to you. Because now that they're realizing that you guys... The person, they're realizing that you as a person that was sent to them to be put in their life, they're realizing that all you did was set them free, okay? With impartial and communication, they never got to tell you. And you know what? I, oh my God, look, it's six of cups and five of pentacles. Balance. Six of cups, person returned from the past, five of pentacles being left in the cold, okay? N nutrition. They're saying, listen, my soul craves for this person. I want this person to be in my life. They feel balanced when you guys are in t are together, okay? So it's very telling me that it may be some type of separation. Yeah, and I'm almost 100% sure separation because the seven of swords, walking away from things, manipulation, things that don't serve you. Six of, six of swords, leaving the light, going towards the darkness, leaving situations that no longer serve you to come towards the things that are light. Who is the light? This person of their life. Okay, where's that card right here? Look at the light. The person of their life, okay? Leaving the darkness, going towards the light, okay? King of Wands, person, this person has lots of sexual energy for you. See, and I'm starting to get the dizzy feeling. 13, 13 o'clock, 13 significant. This person's saying right now, oh my God, I'm really trying to change. I want to change my life, okay? They constantly think about changing. And you made this person a better person. You make me better. You make me better. I think I said this yesterday, kind of like a little bit of the same read yesterday, but I'm picking up the same energy from Divine Feminine Masculine. You made them a better person. Lots of sexual energy. This person's so sexually attracted to you. Okay, look at with the full card and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, saying, so listen, this is a person I want to be with. I chose this person. I want to be with them. They make me happy. This person really thinks about being married to you all the time. Okay, seven of cups with the two of cups. Okay, this person also is in deep regret about keeping you as an option with other people. They're deeply regret for that. So if you're not in communication with divine feminine masculine energy to energy and it resonates, it resonates and you know that your person was in third party energy, whether they told you or not, they are in deep regret about that because guess what? All these cups that are filled up 14, 14 o'clock, they don't do nothing for them. They don't fill them up. They don't satisfy them. They're not the way that the person that they were with, the person that was in two of that it sent to them. Such a guy that's three, three, three. You guys know what I'm saying? Look at this. You, it can't get any better than this. With the eight of wands and the cherry card, how much more damn faster? They're about to jump out these tarot cards and come to you right through your desktop, laptop, telephone, phone, iPhone, iPhone, Android. 
no judgment zone whatever you're watching to watch it watch this read this person how can you this person wants to come forward so fast eight of wands is fast acting they're manifesting the hell of this relationship to come forward back to you okay i'm also feeling family vibes oh my god look at this with the moon card and the ten of pentacles this person's so intuitively guided to be with you without you and i love this because look at this with the empress card eight of, eight of swords bound this person like no and listen no magic manifest no magic good karma is my aesthetic okay you want good karma good karma follows you listen this person manifesting you back look at looking into spirituality looking into manifesting trying to figure out spirit guys like listen get off your ass i sent this person to you to help you get look at this she's like get up do it you can do it wanting to be back with her empress okay lots of loving nurturing energy ten of swords nine of pentacles saying listen i'm gonna change my life i'm gonna rise from the phoenix rise from the ashes i'm gonna come forward spirit is giving me all the things in life that i need to be able to come forward to do what i have to do listen this person's coming out of heavy detoxification heavy drinking lots of things and you guys know what the five of pentacles is was i that's not like my alcohol card and i got that one too this person's really trying to change their life you have to give it to them okay but in the meantime they want to celebrate with you they want to celebrate the fact that you changed their life they want to celebrate the fact that you made them a better person also when you're in this person's life they don't worry like when you guys are in t t not in contact okay hold on spirit because like who i'm getting left on those when you guys are in contact, they don't worry as much, okay? Like, okay, they might have other options. They might be with other people. But when you guys are together, they feel solidified, solid, firm foundation, okay? Which is really weird because I feel like if you really want someone in your life, you would you would prove that you would show them. You wouldn't really have multiple options. <sighs> Twin Flame Soulmate Energy for a while. So maybe you guys started this relationship in October. Spirit so saying maybe by the time October comes, things will be back right. You guys will get back together, okay? Let's do some love cards. Who this person's energy is like, whoa. They're worried. This person's really worried. They feel like they lost their twin flame soulmate forever. Because, you know, they made a lot of bad, poor choices. Okay, remember, are your life, you're the only one in control of your life. Nobody can control your life for you. What I say, if they wanted to, they would have. They didn't because they don't want to. The only they, people only, it's communication is only hard for people that don't want to communicate with you okay if i'm wrong let me know guys you guys i'm open to criticism so if 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 you guys don't agree with that or if you agree with that please comment down below 17 7 o'clock i don't know how you guys feel about that if they wanted to they would if they did it's because they don't want to okay and if they haven't done it's because they're probably not going to do it and communication is only hard for people that don't want to communicate and that's where i don't want to get you guys to get yourself wrapped up in the twin flame soulmate relationship title okay a connection is a connection i would never deny a connection okay but let's be careful the way we label them because we don't want to be hurt but spirit says keep an open mind okay i feel like this too look at you saw guys fly romantic films this person has a lot of romantic films for you like sometimes you can't deny it. so listen i feel like if i think about someone so much they have to be thinking about me too i can't like i feel like that's undeniable hands down like you i feel like that's unarguable there's no reason i think about someone 24 7 and they just cannot be thinking about me at least seven divinity spirit spirit will lead you to people and places and things when you're supposed to be led this person just doesn't want to say nothing about love today they gave us two open-minded oh thank you spirit for clarifying soulmate okay spirit it's so funny because look at getting to know each other so i feel like when you guys come back from separation you're gonna need to get to know each other better than you did before listen you need to communicate okay this person's understanding the importance of communication okay we're not sweeping things on the rub we're talking about it okay because what happens when you sweep things under the rub under the rug the pile just gets bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where someone's gonna might explode out of anger being mad or they're just gonna be fed up for because they just can't you know what i'm trying to say sometimes me i just shut down i get so fed up i'm like you know what I just, I just can't okay so listen communication i always have the courage and ability to to express my authentic self so this person wants to come forward they want to say listen this is what it is this is what it's not and this is how i am and this is what i didn't do okay let's see and i get to use my mirror truth mirror truth mirror mirror on the wall what's the truth of it all divine masculine divine feminine stand tall oh i just i be rhyming stuff guys what's this one 24 heart hearts this person wants to come forward and have a heart to heart conversation they feel like an ass for the shit that they did to you okay two for clover six okay two for clover 
they feel lucky to have you in their life. I'm going to have to get the book on this, guys. But I'm going to read them, How Intuitively Spirit Says, because I haven't did these in so long. I kind of forgot. But with the two, and I, got, I love the number six for abundance. Well, this person feels happy that you're in their life. Like, you look at this. Endless, this person has endless love for you. Like, they feel like their love for you is so grounded, so rooted that it would, like, never end. They feel like it would never end. Look at, but they also feel like it's a lot of hurdles and mountains coming forward to you. But Spirit's guiding them. Okay, Spirit's guiding them. Spirit's saying, listen, you got this. Two, four, two, two, one. Two, four, two, two, one. Okay. Two, twenty, four, twenty, one. Books. Twenty six. This person with ten and two guys. This person's reading up on twin flame soulmate energy. Okay. Oh, I got another one too. What's this? Sky. Okay, so I feel like they're worried about the end of a situation. But this person's reading on how to manifest this person reading on books on twin flame soulmate relationships spirit says oh with the fox in the crossroads so this person feels like i should have never been sneaky i should this person's at a crossroad for the way that they treated you okay they're really in their head and their feels about the things that they did they replay things over and over again saying if i would have did this i would have did that because what well, 20 44 on the clock because why would i lose someone that would really ride for me okay why would I lose someone that would ride for me? Look at what the number one and the number nine ending karmic cycles are saying. Why would I lose someone that would, would ride with for me? Why would I do that? Why would I snake them, okay? So also I get from this snake card, this person knows that they did some shit behind your back that if you found out or knew, you probably would never deal with them or talk to them again. So look at, on top of knowing that they did something to you behind their back, they want to come, they want to solidify your relationship. Okay, they want to solidify it. So the things that they want to tell you, there's some things you don't know. Look, if you don't know, if you don't hear it, smell it, know about it, you're not going to know about it. Why would we waste our pretty hearts worrying about it? Okay, but they do want to come in. They want when this person comes back into your life, they want a style of relationship. They're not. They're, they're not going to stay there. They don't want. An, yeah, look, stork, don't get pregnant. They're going to come in with a message. Okay, look at this. They're going to come in with a message. I feel like this person really wants to blend families with you. I. I really feel like when they come in this time, or when the next time they come in, or however the situation goes for you, energy, energy resonates, resonates. They're gonna. It's gonna be solid with the anchor and the stork. They're. They're not gonna listen. This person right now. They're saying like, I'm not wasting no time. There's no way I'm gonna. How many times did we clarify the soulmate relationship? They're saying, I'm never, I'm not letting my soulmate go. They've been too loyal. 22, 2 o'clock. Loyalty is royalty, baby. Central guy is 3 3 I love you guys. Look at gentlemen. They're going to come in soft. Not soft. They're going to come in. They're, they're not going to use an aggressive approach. They're going to come in because you know what, Lily? They've been talking to someone. And remember I said this in the beginning, an older person. This card means res significant. Signi signifies 22 23 o'clock an older lady okay somebody that somebody's gave them somebody's gave them lots of wisdom okay um and also there's a child here so i think a spirit baby or a child will pr be produced in this relationship or like i said again i'm really getting someone wants to blend families with their children okay flowers new beginning wanting to grow expand the relationship since you got a 333 three, three, i love you guys okay let's let's try some urban bricks oh wait before i do that let's try some moonology and then i got to go guys i gotta get my day started and it's windy outside right now well guys remember wins for change okay so can i have three cards to clarify Ooh, that one fell i'm not gonna pick it until i get three cards guys oh spirit can i have three cards to clarify oh divine masculine energy okay i'm really picking up divine masculine energy all right so the for oh i said three we got four okay believe in the impossible listen you guys are going to turn on and you'll be like i didn't even think this was going to happen something's going to come into your life and you're going to be like wow i did not think this could happen okay your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus didn't i call i called taurus energy earlier okay taurus i'm telling you my to this for my taurus people especially okay hold your vision okay new moon and taurus Taurus, a lot of Taurus energy here. So it could be your sun rising, moon sign, whatever. But this is Taurus energy. Also, spirits tell me what the Taurus energy. This person was being stubborn when it came to love. And that's another thing that they realize. Like, I can't be stubborn when it comes to love. And look at conclusions are in reach because they're like, I've really decided that this is someone that I want to be with. This is, they like, they're so decided. They've decided, okay? They're fixing themselves. They're like, hell no, okay? You would never know how much this person cares for you because they've never told you, okay? And when they come in your life, whenever you guys get back together or talk or something, they're going to tell you, they're going to say, listen, I, I messed up. I know. I, damn. Oh my God, guys. First of all, kiss right here, okay? I got all these cards that flew out on the board, but guess what fell on the floor, guys? Engagement ring passion top deck kiss what's this one 
sunglasses okay so watching looking perception they're 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 looking they're watching okay engagement ring i'm telling this person knows you're someone that they want to marry okay key with the heart keys on a ring and you guys know this person's so upset that the fact that they kept you as an option because guess what you were the best option they they were being greedy selfish stubborn okay and their ego being narcissistic they didn't even want to have as many options as they did okay they were fulfilling things and now i'm thinking about the child card they were healing inner child issues okay they were really trying they were masking their pain okay they're masking their pain with other people which it doesn't work that so when spirit intuitively guided them to the twin flame soulmate relationship they they started realizing that how that one person fulfilled them in ways that six or seven people couldn't okay imagine dealing with a whole bunch of people and one person and this one person that's in your life of all the people they dealt with is the only person that like you're like why do i need to be with these other people what, what's the point okay sunshine got a three 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 you know what i mean you know what i'm trying to say sunshine got three three i love you guys Oh my God, this is a long ass read. Why me? And it's so funny because at the bottom of the deck, it was a why me card. I feel like this person feels really cheap and really stupid. Like they root, they feel like they ruined something. They feel like they ruined something with someone that they, they could have really good. They're really in their feels. They're really in their head and their heart about the situation. And they really want to come forward. They really want to change their life. Okay. Money problems, dealing with financial issues as well. Okay. Dealing with financial issues as well. I wonder if there's... I'm not picking up any third-party energy, but Spirit will tell us before. You hurt my feelings. So maybe something you said to them, number 10, completion. Okay, you guys. I feel like you guys go through an endless cycle back and forth, okay? I lied to you, so they're going to come forward and tell you about why they're not communicating, okay? You make me a better person, and I'm as faithful as you. I'm telling you. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Top deck dealing with karma so this person knows like some of the shit that they put you through they're dealing with it okay but at the end of the day all the options don't amount to you um all the other people that they were with there don't amount to you like they're really just trying to get their self together their life together to be able to come forward it's juicy tarot summer and wig so i don't know if those are related to you let me pick one more let's go Okay, so they want to say, let's go, okay? Sunshine got three, three, three. I love you guys. Keep your head up in your heart. Close to God, and I'll catch you guys on my midday mix. Spirit said one. I got to pick one from over here. Knew it. Alcohol. They're detoxing from alcohol. Five of pentacles. See? Love you guys. Sunshine got three, three, three. I love you guys. Keep your head up in your heart. Close to God, and I'll catch you on my midday mix. I'm going to actually do whatever comes first. Mwah.